Hello YouTube and welcome to a world edit tutorial. Uh, I'm not planning on doing lots of these videos because there's loads out there but uh, I was talking last night with two people on the server and they really wanted to know how I do some sort of my complicated brushes. Now, I do talk these out in all my videos but I figured I'd do a specific video just on them and explain how and why I do them. So <clears throat> to get started we're just going to use the uh, basic brush. So it's slash, brush, sphere, and you've got different types of shapes, you've got sphere or cylinder. There might be more, but I only ever use those two. So I'll actually, I'll do, I'll do the sphere one first, sphere, and then you want your material type, and you can type the material, stone, um, and for like, you know, wool, colon, red, and that should give you, there you go, red wool undo that but I tend to use the numbers because you know it's it's quicker it's easier so we're just going to do a stone one so that's one and then you want your size and the sizes range from zero to five so size five brush is obviously the biggest which is like that size four would be that size size three size two size one and probably one that not many people know about is the size zero one and that just replaces one block at a time like that so that's all pretty well and good now if I just do plot me clear now I'll go over the cylinder brush as well and I've gone off the plot right, so the cylinder brush is exactly the same brush oops cylinder one for stone again and you've got all your different sizes I'll just do size four why not? There you go. Just does a cylinder disc over the thing. So that's all well and good. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is adding things to your brush. So brush sphere. I, I like to do the spheres for this because it's easier. This is where people, you know, like paint over the mountains and stuff like that. And I'm going to redo a video on that because I did one a while ago, but I'm going to go more in detail about it. So sphere one and you put a comma and no space a lot of people put the space so comma no space and then you want your next material I'm gonna do five and five is wood and then again I'll just do size five brush and you see it does that and if I add a next an extra material so I'll put another comma and then do I don't know let's say 20 that's glass don't know why I've picked that and then you see it's got the three in there. Twenty probably wasn't a good one. You can hardly see that. But there you go. There's there's your idea. Okay, so that's how to add extra uh, brushes. Now, as you saw, then it just gave a nice mix of those three materials. But maybe you want one material to be more prominent than the other. This is where your percentages come in. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just delete all of this. Actually, I'm going to use those three materials. I'm going to do sixty and then percent sign no space or anything go straight into your material so one so sixty percent of this brush is going to be stone comma and then we're going to have uh... maybe thirty percent of the brush is going to be five that was the wood comma and then to make it stand out instead of using glass we're going to do ten percent uh... thirty five thirty five is wool so ten percent thirty five space size of your brush five and there you go so you can see we've got a lot of stone um, still quite a bit of wood because you know it's not much different and then we have a little bit of wool in there now, I don't know why you'd want to use this mix of materials but this is an idea of you know just using different materials you can change them as you want alright so that's that's like the basic brushes and actually it's a bit more advanced with the percent signs but now we're going to get one step further and use metadatas so this is where you would use a brush for like a mountain or for a path or something like that so we're going to go for uh, a, a mountainy type of stone brush so we're going to go for one comma actually no one colon zero one colon zero is your normal stone then we'll do a comma one colon five is your dark stone one colon six is your light stone 
I think as well you don't have to put these in order but I'm OCD so I'm gonna do one colon one and one colon two that's also mossy stone so there's the brush I'm gonna do a size five and I'll just show you there so that's give a good mix of all those materials and doing a brush like this generally is bad it's good for a base layer but generally it's bad to use this as a overall brush you can see we've got a good mix of those materials and you can if I just undo that go in and put lots of percentages in so let's say we want um, the one call on two moss stone I don't like that that much so I'm gonna put 10% uh, of that we'll have a little bit more of this so 15% of the extra moss so that adds up to 25 so we've still got quite a bit to work with so let's see we don't want too much light stone either so maybe we'll put 15% of that so that's now 25 40 uh, should be doing math this early in the morning. 40. So I've got 60% left to use up. Want dark stone. We'll do 25% dark stone and 35% light stone. Uh, normal stone, sorry. So that's how long and the complicated the brush can get. And you do get a lot longer, a lot more complicated and use that. And you see that it's all worked quite nicely. We've got not that much of uh, the light stone we've hardly got any of this um, one call on two the less mossier mossy stone is a little bit more prominent and then we've got lots of normal and dark stone so you know that's how you can use your brushes to your advantage right but that's just using the general brush and now we need to talk about masks and this is the whole inspiration behind this video because they wanted to know how I did a specific mask but I'm just going to start off um, really simple so first I'm just going to change this to a normal stone brush just so it's just like that um, and we're going to do slash slash mask and then you can pick any material that you want so because um, the grass is the material you want to paint you want to do mask 2 so that when I right click all that it masks is the grass and I don't know why it's done that it's a bit buggy but uh, you can see there that we've got just the grass as being brushed and if I do undo and then change the mask to zero because that's er uh, and I'm actually just going to get this right up like that maybe a little bit higher and do that brush and then if I can come under here you can see that this is all still the dirt or the grass material underneath so that's how masks work and if I'm uh, just going to do a couple of blobs like this and then smooth it out a little bit if I could smell smooth right there we go so I can smooth this out a little bit and I can go a little bit more in detail with these br um, these masks now because we've got the materials up like that and in fact so now I've got two materials that I might want to mask. So if I do brush sphere three, because that's dirt, and I'm going to do slash slash mask one for stone, comma, and two. So that should now mask the stone and the grass and change everything to dirt. And voila, there you go. Changes it all to dirt. Now without that mask, to disable it you just type slash slash mask, you get this. So undo that using your mask this is the uh, end result of what you get you get a nice covering over just those materials and we'll just clear the plot okay so that's all well and good but what you can use the uh, masks to get really really advanced and there are a couple of things that I'm going to show you now so I'm just going to do brush cylinder 65 and that is farmland and this is the the reason that I really want to get this video out there. So I'm going to do brush sphere. 59 is your wheat. I'm going to do 59 colon 6 and 59 colon 7. So remember, you put a comma and no space, size 5. So that's a sphere brush. Now, if you do this sphere brush normally, this is going to break the server. Um, this is what happens. And as you can see, that is very very bad. So we'll just do undo. I told you it was going to break it. Um, slash p clear. There we go. So 
to be able to use um, to be able to sorry getting distracted to be able to use this brush effectively and be able to get it to work properly what you're going to do is slash slash mask and you would think that you do 60 so that but if you do 60 it's just going to replace all of the um, the farmland so what you're going to do is this little symbol and if you remember your maths at school that symbol means greater than so you're going to mask greater than 60 and what that should do is it will change it will affect every block that is above the farmland like that so you've just done this mask and this is mixed in fully grown and non fully grown wheat that's how I've got the green version and it looks really really nice and it's a really really quick easy method of making farms so there you go just do that and it works out quite nicely alright guys so just to show you how well this brush works you can also use it for things like this so I'm just going to do brush sphere 31 uh, size 5 mask greater than 2 and if I just right click somewhere randomly there we go so you can see it's just changed all of this to this material so it works for grass it works for farms it works for pretty much any material really I could just change this to say I don't know something like sandstone and right click and you know it will just do it for everything and it's a great way to cover um, plots uh, sort of more accurately and more sporadically I suppose if you use the overlay command it will sort of do everything um, and another thing uh, like easy way of doing this if you use the overlay command it wouldn't actually go on these bits of grass here because of the materials there so if I actually did a right click here then you see that it does actually take over all of those but what you ha may have noticed as well is that we had a fence post here we had some trap doors and stuff there so those blocks have disappeared as well as the flowers uh, because those were above the uh, the colon 2 so when I right clicked it replaced everything above the uh, grass block which included the cobblestone walls included the trapdoor so just be wary of that when you're using this brush that it will replace everything um, as far as I know there's no way to sort of double mask a brush um, if there is a way someone put it in the comments because that will be extremely helpful for me but um, it's just one of those things you've got to bear in mind when you're using the brush it doesn't really hinder you too much once you know what you're doing and it's really really simple to use once you actually remember the way to type the commands so quick recap of what we've gone over you've got brush sphere or cylinder and then you've got your materials which is one if you want to add more than one material comma two comma three comma four no spaces in between if you want to add uh, metadata you do colon and then a comma and then one colon two and then one colon three you can even do something like what two and you can do you know loads of different ones uh, percentages to get c more control over what materials were so 90% two and comma 10% three for example so there's make sure there's no spaces and your slash slash mask so you've got mask one material mask two materials mask three materials mask all the materials <laughs> Uh, and you've also got the greater than mask so if you want to do sort of farmlands and stuff like that then you definitely need to do um, 60 which is farmland and then mask greater than 60 and that will place all of your crops on top of the farmland um, if you do mask 60 it will replace the farmland with the crops and it will just look terrible and it will create big holes in your plot so be careful make sure you do the right command and that's it for this video so if you guys have enjoyed this video if you found it helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one